hey guys welcome back to my channel um this is obviously from the title another monthly skincare and makeup recommendations um little update i know i skipped last week um but there is a reason for that so Last week, I unfortunately did not get time to film a video to post on Wednesday because it was the start of finals week and I had a bunch of projects and like really chunky assignments in the beginning of the week and then I would have filmed one like and to post it maybe like a day later, two days later, but then the air quality in New York became absolutely detrimental and destructive. And so it kind of like destroyed my entire livelihood. Um, and I was like just busy doing work still for like the end of the year um, because I finish school next week, which I finish school. I have two days, I have Monday and Tuesday, and then it starts Regents week, which goes on for a week and a half. And then I come back in for the 26th and 27th, and those are my last two days of school. Um, and I think I'm going to vlog both of those days or one of those days. But yeah. So now that we got all through that, I'm so happy to announce the June Makeup and Skincare Recommendations video. So let's get into it. So obviously we are going to start with Ipsy. Um, this is the bag this month. It's super cute and I love it. By the way, this is a change in scenery just because my desk is feeling a bit icky right now. Um, so I decided to not be at it for this one video. So first we're going to start off with the Cloud9 lip balm and it's in the shade Vanilla. Um, this was truly so useless it's just a lip balm like there's nothing special about it it's a lip balm and it doesn't even smell like vanilla which is really weird because vanilla I would assume is a pretty easy flavor flavor um and also like on ipsy they tell you how the how like what the actual price is because some things can't come in a mini size like a lip balm this is like 23 dollars there is no reason for it to be $23. So that is like an absolute waste of money. I don't recommend it. There's like no point. Just get like Carmex, which is like $2. And I love it. Uh, next though is the ba Brow Friends Forever from the Beauty Crop, which is a clear eyebrow gel. It, first off, the packaging is absolutely gorgeous. Um, it uses the capital letters of BFF, Brow Friends Forever, which is so cute. But also, this brow gel holds so well. I personally don't like filling in my brows just because I don't like the extra color. I think my color is fine. Um, so I use clear stuff, and this is absolutely amazing. Nothing has ever held like this in my life. And so... It's amazing for like really sweaty and hot days and like just in general, it's really good. Next is the Elemis Pro Collagen Night Cream. This, um, I was having issues with my skin like in general before I even tried this and it smells nice. Um, so I used it on my hands cause my face was kind of having issues recently for the past like two months so I'm trying not to really use any new products on it but this was really nice like on the hands and it's like water-based I'm pretty sure which is really good um so it was really nice and I mean from what I was able to use from it it was pretty good next is the Antidotes Tinted Moisturizer in the shade shade 26 this first off is such like a great size um and it's also like my perfect shade color shade match which is really rare to get such a good match when you're online 
but this is so cute. I didn't get to use it that much because of my whole skin thing and I wanted to like avoid really too much products, but it's so good. It's, I used it in my hand and the color match, first off, impeccable. It blends out so well and it's so pretty and I can't wait to use it. And lastly, for Ipsy, we have the Ciati London Velvet Skin Cream Blush in the color Fancy. Now this one is really cute. I did try it. Um, it's such a buildable formula and this is my first um, liquid blush. It's such a cute like size too. Um, and it's like it has pigment but it's also buildable so like if you feel like you need more it's there. So it's like originally subtle and still works but you can make it bolder which is really cool. So that is it for Ipsy. Now, moving on, we are going to go into the lip product, and then, I don't know, I'll do the good stuff first and the bad stuff last. So first, we have the lip product, and for me, this month at least, is the Laneige Lip Glowy Balm in Berry. This is so cute. I've used it so many times. It leaves such a cute tint on your lips and it's so creamy and hydrating that it's such a cute product and the applicator is really easy to use um, so it's really easy to just smooth on your lips and honestly the packaging is really cute too so that's the lip product um, for skincare products we are going to start with the Too Faced peach lip scrub um, exfoliating lip scrub. Uh, so this is an example how, like, I think in my first video of this, like, kind of thing, where I was like, oh, Too Faced, like, I didn't like their mascara, but I was like, they are a good brand, though. Like, not everything is gonna be bad, even though. This is an example of a really good product. Um, so it's, it's just a scrub, honestly. And it's like, it's, first off, it's such a pretty smell. I personally don't like peach, but this one, I don't know, it makes it bearable. And it's really cute. It's pretty compact. And you just use your finger and then you like scrub it with your finger and everything like works out. Um, it's really good. It really exfoliates your lips and it's a really good recommend. <sighs> um, and then for the last skin skincare product, is the Ordinary Salicylic Acid 2% Solution. I have used um, more than half of it, as you can see. This is really good. It makes your skin, your skin so like smooth and like tightens up and it kind of like dries out those like really greasy areas for like your pimples and your blackheads and your whiteheads, which is a problem I really have. Um, it's just really good overall. Um, but warning to those who have dry skin because I did see something that this is meant for people with more oily skin and it will dry your skin out if you already have dry skin. So just a warning on that. But for me personally, it was a really good product. Next, we're going to go into the eye products. Um, and they're both e.l.f. I love e.l.f. as a brand. Um, it's just so affordable and versatile. Versatile that... It just works really, really well. So first is the Big Mood Waterproof Mascara in black. Um, first off, it's such a big, like, packaging. Um, and I love the, like, holographicness of it. It's so cute. Um, it really does last all day. And this, like, spoolie is really cute. And it just makes your lashes look so gorgeous. Um, and there's like barely any fallout it like for there to be fallout it must be really sweaty and like you wore it for super long like over 12 hours and it was sweaty so this is really good um and I truly recommend because usually waterproof mascaras make my eyes hurt if I wear them too long but this one is like it barely does it Next for the eye products, obviously, as I said, is also e.l.f. The Shape and Stay Brow Pencil in the color Clear. Or, yeah, it's clear. Um, and it's kind of flat right now, but I rolled it up 
just so you can see. Oh, there we go. My hair is dark, so. Um, this is really good, and it like it's another brow thing. So when I'm not really feeling the look to go for like a glossy kind of eyebrow um, gel, I go for this, and it like just sticks them down really nice, and I don't have to worry about them. Um, so I usually wear these, wear this like, I don't know, when I'm going for like drier things or stuff like that. And what's really cool is that e.l.f. has this thing at the bottom of like, like lip pencils or eye pencils, I think. Um, and also this eyebrow pencil, where like at the bottom, if you yank it out, it's a sharpener. So you can sharpen it. I honestly don't need the sharpener for this though, because it like... It just goes like I go flat for my face, but it is really useful um, for lip pencils and stuff like that. And it's really cool in their packaging that they do that. Finally, the last good product, which is my random product that I will do until I run out, is the Glossier Stretch Concealer in the shade G6. Now this, the formula is absolutely a dream with very minimal creasing. There is no streakiness or like really any issues and like it doesn't you can barely see it it's it blends so well it's amazing my only thing like personally right now is that i got my summer shade but so it's a little dark for me right now but summer's coming right up and i just know it's gonna be such a staple in my bag <sighs> finally we're done with the good stuff and now I have to go into the bad stuff. So first, technically this isn't the bad one, but it is technically like in this line. So this is actually e.l.f. as you might see. Um, and this is the, this is actually a good one, but the other one is bad. Um, so I'll just tell you what the other one is because I might use this in a later video or something. Um, but this is the, well, no, the bad one is the, I wrote it down, the Elf Liquid Glitter Eyeshadow in the shade Ocean Eyes, um, but essentially it's exactly like this, and so this one is the from the Metallic series, though, and so it has this applicator that's kind of like a lip applicator but it's a liquid eyeshadow um and honestly it's it was just a really patchy consistency it doesn't blend well and it doesn't really like it doesn't look smooth it's really streaky and it doesn't it's not buildable which was really annoying um so that one was really disappointing but yeah now lastly <sighs> i was really trying to make this one work this is the number seven high shine gloss lip gloss, high shine lip gloss in the shade pink hydrangea, hydrangea, I don't know how to say that. This, first off, it's such a pretty color, like out of the tube. It is literally a dream when you first apply it on your lips, but unfortunately it does not set well and it doesn't dry well and like it looks really bad after it dries. Um, and it really dries out your lips too. So I I still use this, but it's not one of my go-to glosses, um, which is really a shame because the pigment and the color is absolutely a dream. But yeah, the number seven high shine lip gloss is unfortunately on my bad reviews list. So thank you for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already liked this video, if you liked it and Stay tuned for all videos that I will post and other videos like this. Um, and yeah, I can't wait for summer to start. It's going to be such a good time. And I honestly can't wait. I have really cool stuff that I haven't told you yet um, that's going to happen, which is really cool. And you will find out later on. So please subscribe. Uh, follow my Instagram, TikTok, and Spotify, all in the description below. And I hope you have a great month and a great end of school if you haven't already. And congratulations to all of those who graduated 
or are going to be graduating this month 